Here we have a GMAT quant problem that we can practice together. It says if k is a non-negative integer and 15 to the k is a divisor of 759,325, then three to the k minus k to the third equals what? That might seem very overwhelming. So we're gonna break it down into bite-sized pieces. First, we wanna focus on a vocab term here. We're told that k is a non-negative integer. Integers are whole numbers and non-negative means it could be any positive number or zero. Remember that the test chooses wording very carefully. So if it says non-negative, that means we need to include zero and all of the positive integers on our list of options. So that's non-negative. The second vocab piece we need to focus on is divisor, which is another word for factor. That means that 759,325 is going to be divisible by 15 to the k power. So 15 to any power is going to be 15 times itself some number of times, right? That means this key fact, 15 equals three times five. And so if any number is divisible by 15, then that number also must be divisible by both three and five. What does that mean for us? That means we should check whether 759,325 is divisible by both three and five. Divisible by five is pretty easy. It ends in either zero or five. And so that checks out. What about three? Our divisibility rule is if the number is divisible by three, then the sum of its digits is divisible divisible by three. That means we actually add up all of its digits. So seven plus five plus nine plus three plus two plus five, that's going to equal 31. Maybe you can tell whether that's divisible by three or not. If not, we can repeat the process and add those digits together. Three plus one equals four. Clearly this is not divisible by three. That means that our big number is not divisible by 15. So the question is, if that number is not divisible by 15, then what could K equal? We need to find find a value of k so that it is divisible by 15 to the k power. Well, 15 to the first power, if k equals one is 15, and it can't be divisible by that. 15 to any other power bigger than one is going to be 15 times more copies of 15. That's not gonna work, so what do we do? Here's where non-negative comes back. The only integer that's not positive or negative is zero. What if I make k equals zero? Well, 15 to the zero power equals one, and every positive integer is divisible by one. So 759,325 is divisible by one. We arrive at this key fact, k equals zero. That's the only possibility. And it turns out that this is a much simpler set of numbers than we thought. Be careful, don't just jump to answer choice A and choose zero. Remember the question did not ask us for the value of k. So we have one quick final step. The question asked us to find the value of three to the k power minus k to the third power. So we're just going to plug in k equals zero. That's going to give us plus three to the zero power minus zero to the third power. Apply our exponent rules here because we don't have a calculator. Anything to the zero power equals one, zero to any power equals zero. And so the answer, the final solution is one minus zero equals one. That's answer choice B. And we select that and move our point, earn our point and move on is what I'm trying to say. So we took the wording of the question, we analyzed it and we used some basic principles, some integer properties here. Turns out we didn't didn't have to do much of anything with this big number. So don't get intimidated when you see a big number on the exam, you don't have a calculator. And so the test isn't going to ask you to do real fancy calculations. Instead, we applied some problem solving techniques and we were able to find the final answer. Review this and make sure that you understand the principles used here so that you can answer a similar question on your GMAT test day. And leave us a comment below. Let us know whether you got the question right. Come back for more problem solving videos like this with explanations soon. Make sure you're following us so you don't miss it.